Hey guys, I'm Mike, and this is an intro. Alright, what we got here is going to be a little different, you know, still trying new things. This is going to be a straight up card review, uh, specifically the card Commune with Lava. Yeah, going straight. Ah, good, good visual. Hey, yeah. Sorry, still getting used to the camera. A lot more used than some of the earlier videos where it would go in and out, but with this one, this card is... I wasn't really sure what to think of it at first. Mostly because, for some reason, I was not reading the card. That was a terrible mistake on my part. But I decided to put it in one of my decks. Ran it, it's like, oh, give me a few more options right then and there. That's nice. And then I realized what it does is so insanely versatile that... This is probably one of my favorite new cards out of dragons altogether. I mean, some people can take their, you know, planeswalkers, who are justifiably powerhouses, and, you know, the lands... Sorry, I have a thing for the trip plans. And the new dragons. I can know a guy who has a new dragon tribal deck off this set. I hate it. It's really good, but I hate it. But this card, it's... The versatility in this card is absurd. Exile the top X cards from your library until the end of turn, or until the end of your next turn, you may play those cards. This means not only do you get them during the turn you cast it, but if it's someone else's turn, like right after yours, you get them for that turn and up until it comes around. In multiplayer, this is not just insane, that is absurd in the most insane sense. I know I'm repeating myself, but there's really no better words to describe how broken this can be. I mean, even if you just pump out like five mana into it, you exile the top five cards of your library that way, and then you get to play them. That is... How is that not insane? It gives you versatility over multiple turns. It doesn't say until the end of your turn, or until the end of this turn. It's the end of your next turn. Those cards stay in exile. Now, someone, people will know what you have exiled, so they know what you can play. Because they're exiled face up, because the only things exiled face down are told to be that, and it doesn't do that, but that's an old thing. But, if nothing else, even... This is combo bait. This is pure and simple combo bait. At its best. For example, I run it in my Animar deck. Whenever I say that, I feel like I should apologize because I'm running an Animar deck. And it is as dickish as it probably sounds. If you know how it plays, I'm sorry, it's exactly what you think. And if you don't, just understand that I'm an ass for doing it. Ooh, it's lit down. But yeah, uh, in Animar, though, the biggest problem I has or I have, uh, bad English, is that I put out everything with Animar, and then I kind of stall out, or someone board wipes, and then I have, like, a ton of lands just lying around, and maybe Animar, sometimes he's out, sometimes he's not, and I just have nothing to do with it because I just have to draw one card a turn, and hopefully I get something useful. Commune with Lava takes care of that because I just pump in all the cards, or all the land, for all the mana I need, which usually by mid to late game is quite a lot because I don't really use it with Animar. He gets things in cheap. So Commune can be put on the side, and I just churn it up. So then for a couple turns, I can just start dropping things, and I will draw something that will get me out of my problems. And late game, if for any reason I've achieved infinite mana, this is how I end the game, by just saying I exile my deck. I now play everything, always. I can basically play my deck. Now, the lands are pretty much taken out of play, because, you know, you can only play one a turn. Now, granted... If there was some way where I could cast or play lands at instant speed, if there's a card that does it, I actually can't think of it right now, but I could play them on other people's turns. Short of that, though, I more or less will play my deck out because with infinite mana, or Animar churned up high enough with counters, I can more or less cast everything, and that will infinitely do something. It's a combo deck, Animar. It's dickish stuff. But other than that, even if it's own right, this is still an insanely good card. I would always recommend it just because it'll get you out of tight spots. Well... That's all. Hopefully you like this new shorter format. And yeah. If you like the video, leave a like. Leave a comment. I'm trying to start a new thing where card reviews are up there. Mostly because I found out when I do full decks, I get onto a card I like and I just ramble forever. So I'm going to try and do just the cards in general because maybe then I won't get randomly cut off by my video lengths. And they won't be nearly as unmanageable as like 20 or 30 videos. So yeah. Subscribe. Leave a comment. If you have any suggestions or things you want me to look at next... Give a heads up, and one of these days I'll maybe put up a video of my own gameplay, and you can laugh at how terribly I'm getting screwed over. Yeah, sorry, I 
as soon as I'm trying to actually record something, I always get the worst hand possible, like all lands. Even if I specifically play test it, no, it's a really good balance. My decks come out terrible as soon as I'm playing with anyone vis like actually watching. If I wasn't recording, I'd probably scoop or make everyone scoop because of some bullshit combo. But yeah, that's all for now. Later.